Spider-Man Far From Home is on its premiere week, and as we know, Marvel has the tradition of giving us post credit scenes on its movies. Tradition that kinda died out when Avengers Endgame was released, but Spider-Man Far From Home actually brings us two new post credit scenes, so it seems like the tradition is not actually dying. But before I begin, I want you to know that if you haven't seen Spider-Man Far From Home, I do not recommend that you continue watching this video because I'm gonna be using spoilers from said movie. Well, the first post credit scene, which is actually a mid credit scene, teases a bit of Peter Parker's future and how J. Jonah Jameson will affect it. At the end of the movie, Peter takes his new girlfriend, MJ, swinging through the city of New York, which she is absolutely not prepared for. Well, as he drops her off in Midtown Manhattan slash Herald Square, J. Jonah Jameson, the former Daily Bugle editor, in a cameo played by the character's longtime actor, J.K. Simmons, yes, the original J. Jonah Jameson, appears on a giant monitor slash billboard with a breaking news announcement. He says, Your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man is actually your metropolitan villain. Jameson then plays the footage from Spider-Man's final fight against Mysterio, which was taken and edited by Beck's team to make it look as if Spider-Man was responsible for the drone attack on London and Mysterio's death. Jameson continues on to state that he knows who Spider-Man really is. He then reveals that it's local high schooler Peter Parker and ends his broadcast on a photo of Peter. The scene concludes with a cut to Peter and MJ both in absolute shock. But what does it mean? Well, the scene seems to hint that the next Spider-Man movie will entail Peter Parker handling the fallout after being painted as a villain and having his identity revealed. Jameson is going to be adversary, spinning every single one of Peter Parker's actions as nefarious. It also seems to indicate that the remainder of Beck's team could be in the picture for future installments. The second and last post credit scene is the one that has everyone in absolute shock, and it's that it's revealed that Nick Fury and Maria Hill are actually scrolls. Well, after the credits wrap, Maria Hill and Nick Fury are driving and briefing someone about the events that just occurred, Peter Parker getting Edith, Mysterio obtaining Edith, Mysterio almost blowing up London, and Peter defeating Mysterio. When all of this is being said, something really shocking happens. Maria reveals herself to be a scroll, and Nick Fury reverts to a scroll form too. They are actually the scrolls known as Talos and his wife Soren, the scrolls whom Carol Danvers helped in Captain Marvel. Then it's also revealed that they're actually relaying the report to the real Nick Fury, who is on what appears to be a scroll spaceship, taking a simulated vacation. AKA using holographic tech, Fury then ends his vacation and declares it's time to get back to work. Well, to be honest, this is just amazing and this is just the beginning of something really big on the upcoming movies of Marvel. But we're just gonna have to see what future installments bring to all of this. But I'm really excited to see what they're actually gonna do. Tell me, what did you think about these post credit scenes? Don't forget to leave your opinion in the comment section below. And remember that if you like this video, don't forget to leave a like and also share this video. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to see more content. This has been All Around.